and I'm Troy Schmidt from Geoprobe. Today I'm going to talk about the CPT system or cone penetrometer testing system. Uh, this system is the uh, is very unique. It's the only cordless system that is uh, industry-wide that provides real-time data as you're pushing. Uh, many times uh, systems available are corded systems. This system is cordless. It is also a uh, tool that can be used for uh, lubricating down the ID of the rods at the same time while pushing or for retraction grouting. So without a cord in the way, it's very usable in that sense. Very adaptable to all drill rigs or push platforms. So across the uh, industry, drill rigs use this type of equipment or uh, direct push equipment. First is the cone itself. Now the cone is comprised of a tip, sleeve, and pore pressure. And so uh, if I take this apart, there's string gauges behind here. Uh, this, this is the first tool that goes into the ground. Now normally we would pre-probe and then begin pushing this. Uh, to make it cordless, uh, this is a digital cone. To make it cordless, what we have is a sound transmitter. And the sound transmitter has a battery section, so six C-cell batteries go into it. This section is comprised of this one foot or one and a half foot area. The other portion of this is the sound transmitter. So how that works is when this is together, the digital signals are sent up this rod string and into the next component, which is the microphone. So the microphone rests on top of the rods. It sets up against the top of the machine so it's pushed against as we advance tooling. So the microphone receives that sound signal and brings it to the surface via cable to our computer interface. So the computer interface really is the brains of the system. It is listening for that microphone sound, changes that from, from a uh, acoustic sound wave into digital form again, goes from here and is reported to the laptop computer. The purpose of cone penetration testing or CPT equipment is to identify soil type in situ or real time and, and can be used for environmental or geotechnical purposes. Uh, what we've got uh, set up now today is uh, a bridge with the anchors in place or I could add extensions to the bridge or extensions to the anchors to get more anchoring capacity. My string pot's mounted to a bracket on the geoprobe here. I've got my cord going to my interface, and then the string that comes out of the string pot attaches to the bottom of the foot. So we have to have a reference point of, of being the, the ground surface. As the machine raises and lowers, the string will retract and extend. So the microphone is just going to push up against the hex drive. Uh, and it's just hanging here by a uh, light pin and, uh, and really is loosely mounted. Um, but ultimately when I apply pressure and, and start pushing on top of the cone, I'm going to push up against this bottom surface, and in turn this surface is going to, this, the top of the microphone is going to push up against the hex drive of the, of the uh, GH60 hammer. So this cord is attached to the interface. Now I'm going to install my ring and my porous, my porous ring and my tip. The next step is to connect the system. So I've applied a little pressure against it. Now, if I did have an open pre-probe hole here, I can't enter a pre-drill into the software, and I can just lower that cone into the soil and begin pushing from there. So I'm just going to start it at the surface with no pre-drill. So with the sounding now going and acquisition ready, I'm going to press start on software. This is going to enable it to start taking readings. And so with it recognizing readings, I'm not now going to be able to see what my zero, what my tilt angle is. And I want to get it as close to zero as possible. But uh, I also want to be realistic and, and believe that usually one degree of tilt is OK. So as I'm pushing, one, I'm going to make sure that I see my rate of speed. Uh, what our rate's going to be today is 20, 
20 millimeters per second. This is typically um, what's used for CPT work. Also, at the same time, while I'm pushing, I want to make sure I'm still receiving sound just to make sure no uh, faults have occurred. And the most important, of course, is my tilt angle. I want to make sure I'm going straight because if I begin going off at too drastic of an angle, not only is it risky for my, my cone and losing it, but also in representing the accurate data that we'd be receiving in, in the vertical direction. Uh, shoulder to shoulder contact and thread contact is very critical in CPT work, uh, specifically this cordless system. Sound is transmitted through the steel of the rods, not through the ID or through the open air. So it's, it's cordless, but the acoustic sound is traveling through the steel. This is a typical output of our cone penetration testing log, the log we just pushed. And uh, looking at the graphs, the first column is point resistance, sleeve friction, pore pressure, and then I've run an N60 evaluation for blow count on the fourth, col fourth column. Uh, I've also run an analysis of uh, soil classification so I can identify soil type here by the empirical formula inside this program. Well, today this has been a short recap of performing a CPT push with a Geoprobe platform using anchoring to establish the necessary capacity to push a CPT cone, uh, the Geotech CPT or cordless CPT system. Thanks for joining us today.